Hello, game. Please start. Alrighty. So, we are back in Clawwell. And what? Lewis arrived a few minutes later. Yeah. Ah. We knew that, so. <sighs> Thanks for being. Don't. Goodbye. So long. Before I visit the club. Okay. So. We had. The HQ of the department, aka the meat grinder. <laughs> A huge dark building for shady people, and I don't necessarily mean those who are sitting in the jail. Uh, okay, so. I. Did a head start here because uh, the saving point was a bit um, earlier than I quit the game before. So technically we are back in Clover and our uh, task is now to, um, yeah, visit our former partner Marty and um, yeah, so let's do that. Okay, so we don't... Hello? Okay, so I guess we don't have limited... Oh. Limited places to go. And okay, I was let's... driving, half drunk. That's not good. my whole life's work, but still... No didn't feel any different. Every day was the same. And the 121 days I had left till my retirement <laughs> seemed like an eternity. When I look out the window of the hotel room I call home, I see the same thing every day. A woman Isn't that with all windows? Dances slowly in circles to smooth music. The nine o'clock show with a glass of cheap bourbon and the red gown with the silent music. Yeah. In the meantime, this is the first the proud color we see here. Clawville is slowly eating itself alive. And I think the last. And we're still here, with nothing left to lose. <laughs> Starting but our by the rain. While yeah. others, Why the smart chicken? ones, had already gone. <laughs> Molly. Does her name really upset me this much? All those years of solitude, oh. and I still jump without question every time I hear it. And then there's Marty, my ex-partner, who hates me. Oh, but I know it's I me. have to speak with him. Well, <laughs> no matter what. Why do I feel like the past is watching? We're gonna have a good time with Marty. Goddamn night. Well, chapter one detour. Nice. Okay, so I think we are about. I knew where to find Marty. At the station, we'd always draw straws about holiday duty. Marty never joined in. He always took the New Year's Eve shift, even though he had someone to go home to. Uh. I understood. Ten years ago, we survived a night the press called the Bloody New Year. Forgotten by Clark, but New Year. not by us. So we both left parts of ourselves Special behind Special there, night. I guess. Okay, so there happened something at New Year's Eve where they left parts of their self behind. Okay, so just a quick recap. We have this lady, Deborah, who uh, told us their mistress was in trouble and we are about to find out what it is, but before that we have to uh, contact our former partner in crime, <laughs> Marty. And as he said, he hates us, so I think there is like a little bit of tension there, and I'm really excited about that. Yeah, I used to patrol the city streets in one of these. I don't miss it, but it used to have its advantages. Yeah, well, I'm gonna look around. For the crown, for the king, okay? We need your Every citizen. Every time this poster disappears, good old blood boil puts it right back Poor immediately. Boy. I tore it down at least three times already. <laughs> I 
Actually, it's a kind of uh, passive aggressive game for us with the chief. It doesn't look that friendly. Serve and protect. Uh, okay. Let's talk to those guys. Phyllis and Phyllis Royce. Phyllis and Royce. Two hedgehogs with an hedgehogs. arrogance typical of novice cops. They're as prickly as they look. A vicious little shithead, but harmless. Okay. Well, look at that. Hey, Sonny. Yeah, kind of cute. <laughs> out over here? I heard the big boss threw you out. Oh. You got thrown out here? What happened? Tough luck, boys. I may not be on duty, but I'm still a cop. Just like you. Well, oh, they're cops too. You. Hey, you don't have to be so picky, sure. Picky, sure. By the way, you're on luck. Blood boils not in tonight. <laughs> the lawyer's in charge. <laughs> nice. Oh, I like God. his accent. That clumsy buffalo is here tonight. If he doesn't end up in a cell again, he's lucky. Buffalo? Uh, uh, you got it. <laughs> you got it. You're looking for Marty, eh? Hey. <laughs> I see you're still the brains around here, Phyllis. Yeah, I'm looking for Marty. Birds of a feather flock together. I see you're still the funny guy around here. You'll okay. Find the giant feather duster in the future, as always. I think there's not much fun in town when we are the funny guy. <laughs> hey, Royce. I'm telling you this because maybe you'll be able to understand. If this prickly shithead makes another racist remark, I'll strangle him with his own raincoat. Okay, there are <laughs> racist problems in town. Hey, whose side are you on, you jerk? You jerk. <laughs> oh, oh police quest. Me? No, same here. Oh, we do really hate this town. Okay, let's go in. Here we are again, Clawville Police Department. CPD. I've never been good at history, but if I'm not mistaken, this place has been a church, a hospital, and even some insane cult secret hideout over the years. Anyway. I don't know if someone just of the ages. came home, but and some drunk pigs in the basement. Okay. So, oh, this Monica. So is there Marty something to inspect? I never tried it, but I'm pretty sure it's gross and probably toxic. Honor, strength, <laughs> unity. For the love of the wild gods, I'm gonna be sick. Okay, we are so sick of all Officer of this. Officer Jardine. They say she's clever, smart, and dangerous. We need more of her kind in here. Is he like a We used one to use target <laughs> practice once. Not out of disrespect. We were just too damn drunk. Like the sound is really cool. You have like people talking in the back and something like that. This area. It's look. Monica Rosen, Rosen, receptionist in theory, but in reality, <laughs> she's doing literally everything around here, like the beating heart of the PD. She's too good for this place, even for this city. Hey, let's talk to her. Hey, Monica. Is she a hummingbird? Hey, boss bird. Boss what bird, I like that. Shouldn't you be celebrating <laughs> somewhere? Every day's a holiday since I got <laughs> out of here. I can tell. But what are you doing here? Are you here for a file? You know, I'm a little busy right now. Yeah. You could I like her little glasses for me, on her nose. First, a beak. <laughs> I'd like to talk to Mr. Big Beak McChicken himself. Big Those Beak two McChicken. Assholes told me he's emptying the magazines in the hole. Like always. And if he carries on like that, he's going to use up all our ammo. It would be nice if you drag him out of there. You know how this day is for him. <laughs> for him? <laughs> you know I didn't mean it like that. Yeah, I know. Okay, so just sign here and you're good to go. Thank you, darling. Don't oh, we checked bird. in. Oh, let's just check those. Got a lot of new people in here. Carl from Phyllis. Hedgehog. <laughs> special feature. I hate him. That's a lot of special features. Like most people have to be. <laughs> a real little ass plug. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Porcupine. 
I ate him almost <laughs> as I ate his partner, but it's okay. Big and dumb, it resembles my partner Marty a little, uh, except that Royce doesn't have a kind heart. Mm, okay. So. We didn't meet him, I guess. He says he's able to devour, devour anything that crosses his path. That's why he got the nickname Chowhound. Okay. Boss Corelli Chowhound Nadas. Well, yes, she's a hummingbird. Okay. She can watch over thousands of things at once, and she is an angel. Oh, that's that's sweet. Uh, <laughs> okay. She's kind of cute. Name Mort Martigan, Commodore Dragon. Well, okay. He is old and blind and an unrepairable wreck. Same. Blood boy. That's the guy on the poster. Man, the chief is a real legend. He also hates me. Like, who doesn't in this game? So, people. Okay, we checked all of them out. Okay. Let's talk to him. Let's look Lord first. Martigan, a notorious deadbeat. deadbeat. Poor guy's been blind since his teenage years. But that doesn't stop him from running into trouble. What the cluck did he do this time? What the cluck? Mort, you scabbiest beast. What the hell did you do? <laughs> He's cute. Morty to you, oh. honey boy. Everything's fine. There was <laughs> just a bit of trouble in the bar and someone got knocked on the head with a glass. It wasn't my fault. <laughs> as blind as a bat. Am I right? Six excuse. Nice. Did that ever bother you, Morty? Listen, <laughs> funny boy. Go tell them to leave me alone, eh? It's New Year's Eve, after all, and I didn't even do anything wrong. Not that wrong. Just a little wrong. Where's your little lapdog to get you out of this mess? Is that little pimp of a midget still sniffing around you? Hey, Jeffy is a good boy, Sunny. And he Sunny. to leave, believe me. Oh God! So it's like a little case. sidekick. When will you finally realize that little shit's been using you? Oh, okay. Oh, of course he's using me. <laughs> what could a pretty boy like him want from this old monster? It's still funny. I have no one else. It's a bit lonely. They all seem like a little bit lonely. Don't you? Even you deserve better, pal. By the way, you look horrible, even for yourself. Are you feeling okay? <laughs> even for yourself. I used to be, but neither are you, judging from your voice. But I'm seeing a doctor, sunny boy. I really am. Are you? Uh, I guess we're Don't not. Need two more. I'm yeah, fine. I'm fine. Anyway, if Bubo prescribed you something, don't even think about taking it. Bobo? Maybe we get to ah, okay. I think we'll get to know him later. Please say something on my behalf, okay? I really don't have time for this detective buffalo shit. Hey, okay. careful with that. Buffalo Malloy is the chief today. We didn't meet him and we didn't have him like in his little no in our little notebook. I'll try to speak for you, but keep it down till then, okay? You don't need this shit, and I don't need it either. Funny boy. You Maybe Mort is a bit of a troublemaker here. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> More like a clucking pigeon. Clucking pigeon. P pigeon. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Light fingered by said he's blind as a bed, but also one of the biggest scoundrels this city has ever seen. Could have been a good guy, but. Got lost somewhere halfway. No, he's too old to save himself. There was some fight in the club where Maud was at. What a surprise! He's an old friend, so I can put in a good word for him. Okay. So I'm I'm wondering uh, wondering if uh, those like pieces of information will help us in the end. Uh, Morphinist, neurotic, old and ugly, but he's an old friend from the golden days of the chicken police. Okay. Eagle Owl. Okay, he's a he's a doctor. Bosco. 
Look at him. Chow Hound Bosco. <laughs> he thinks he's a real alpha. Oh. But nah. He's just a laugh. Nah. Okay, let's pick them. Holy wild ones. Look what the cat dragged. <laughs> Hello to you too, Bosco. I see you're busy as always. Eh, I've been sniffing around one of the around. joints. You know how it goes. And boom. This son of a lizard comes flying up. I really the like those, like and animal puns, son of a lizard. <laughs> so, Mort was being a bad, bad boy again. Nothing unusual. And you? Still dying? <laughs> still dying. You're still a cop for another 121 days, Bosco. It's as unpleasant to me as it is to you. Oh, all well. right, all right. No need to bite. I wasn't <laughs> trying to mess with you. You have Moses and Plato for that. And of course, blood boil. Let's hope I won't run into any mm, of them tonight. Codex entry. Okay. Like, Blood Boyle and his crew seem to be like the corrupter side of the police department here. Marty, eh? Ever since you left, he's kind of lost. He's trying to hide it, but he's not the same bird. Oh. Well, I don't think we'll have a teary reunion <clears throat> thinking about how we parted. I think we'll get to know that later, him. but Let him they rage. hint. Like same after that. Anyway, big things here. Yeah. He was the one that shot you, right? You should be mad. Not he was the one that shot you. Okay, so we're getting there. It's not that simple, Bosco. But we'll see how he reacts. No worries, pal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Codex. Moses and Plato. Moses is a Tibeti Tibetan sand fox, and Plato is a palace cat. They're old rivals of Sunny and Marty, currently working at the Clover PD's homicide division. Okay. And Bosco. Detective Boscorelli alias Bosco. He works in the predatory division, or uh, as I do. Or as I used to do, to be more precise. Okay. One of Blood Boyle's favorites. Uh, Mainly because he's a dog, of course. Okay, so. I'm really not in the mood to meet Deputy Malloy. Or any of my ex colleagues from the predatory division. So, shooting range. Uh, okay, I think that's the way to go. This is gonna be a hard ride. Oh. Last time we saw each other, he is had a smoking it? gun in his hand and I was bleeding. I don't know how we can get past that, but it's worth a try. Yeah, okay. Hey, let's uh, look around a bit. Keep your gun clean, Mr. Lawman. Long yeah. thighs and a big gun. That's Marty's idea of a perfect woman. <laughs> Can't blame him for it. Yeah. Hello, Cass Hey, if you let the ammunition box open again, I kick you up. <laughs> Clucking ass, Marty. Okay. I like it how they have that like. <laughs> what can I say? Classic Marty. Different phrases if that you click. Note down oh, okay. That little note down okay, there. I can't click on the note. Like, they have different phrases if you click on those things multiple times. Okay, we... We can shoot. Okay. Okay, so... I don't know. Is it like... I don't know. How do I? Well, get a hint. Am I gonna the enemies and avoid shooting the hostages? How can I reload? Shooting enemies increases your points and remain time. But hitting hostages does the opposite. Oh, it's up to you to choose wisely and fire away. You need to reload your gun after six shots, just like in the westerns. But even faster. But how do I reload? Ah. Yep. Okay, so. Oh, shit. Uh, I need to start over. Ah! <laughs> need to keep track of my bullets. Oh, shoot! Yeah, don't 
Oops. Ah, okay, so I do get to shoot till the time runs out. What was mine? What was mine? Oh! <laughs> okay, we try again now. I think we can get this. Ooh. Ah! Okay, so we <laughs> I want to leave the game, but we know. Bad. Oh my god. No. <laughs> uh, sorry. worse in this game. What the fuck? Okay, come on. You can do it. Ah. Okay, okay, okay. Let's do it. Oop. Oh boy. One last time without shooting the hostages. I hope. Ooh. Okay, I got the hang of it now. No such a shot for now. Okay, get me. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh god. Okay, maybe I will try later. Can do that, I can do that. Okay, let's let's just try it. It's just not. Yeah, it sucked him. Body looks good, big and loud and angry as always. Why are all the roosters so angry? No, no. Let's talk to him. Okay. Hey, Marty. Oh well, look who's here. Hello, Hello boss bird. bird. <laughs> are you lost? This is the PD building, you know. He seems Marty, younger than us. Than this. Well, at least you are better than anyone, huh? Mm okay. Come on, let's forget that. What's past is past. Uh, easy for you to say, Sonny. Damn it, Sonny. Marty, you shot me, remember? I almost bled to death. Hell yeah, I remember. Unfortunately, <laughs> my aim oh, wasn't maybe good that's, enough. Oh, maybe that's why Trent's here so much. I mean, he had a pretty high score, so... I need your help. Okay, that's what you want to hear. Well, it's a start. Okay, I've said it. I won't do yes. it again. Yes. Tonight, 
Small case. Small case. Wrap it up in no time. Uh, what kind of case? A personal one. How personal? Very. The kind of case where if you come with me right now, you're not on duty anymore. Ooh, damn, Sonny. Damn. Right there. I'm in. That's... That's it? <laughs> uh, it's that you easy. Know how boring life is here without your stupid reckless shit? Soon well. enough, I'll shoot all the ammo in here out of boredom. Right, so tell me, what's it about? I'll tell you in the car. Well, that was easier than expected. Ooh, can I bring Bertha? Who's Bertha? Ah, for the love of... Marty, this is a routine case. You can't bring your shotgun, oh. okay? Bertha stays. It's his shotgun. Bertha. Okay, okay. But at least Susie can come, right? Okay, he's a weapon enthusiast. Ah, I guess. Right. Susie can come. Well, he must have had a pretty good reason to shoot me, so... That's what I want to hear. Okay, so let's look him up. Chicken. Martin made chicken. Usual hit and wait for a foul. Shining white feathers. He shot me once and I deserved it. Okay, well, as I said, <laughs> we've been partners for almost 10 years long. Uh, for almost 10 long, hard years. Well, we will, because now he's only helping me unofficially until I wrap this case. But he's a hot head with a hard fist, but he's loyal until the end and I can count on him in every way. Especially if guns are in the picture. That's when he reveals his true self and that's when I don't ever want to get in his way. Not anymore at least. Okay, well we learned. <laughs> Good. Okay. Still drink coffee? Yeah, my only poison. Except for guns, of course. And women. <laughs> Except for that, and that, and that. Haunt. What do you think? Oh, a nice cup of Zips coffee in the hop dog. I'm in. Hop dog. Oh, boy, maybe we'll get into a little fight too, huh? <laughs> oh, he's ready. When it comes to that, I'm leaving you without a blink. Okay. Oh yeah, like last time. I think it's Zip. Police in here, police out there. Those were uh, different times, Marty. Uh, oh, all right. To the city then. To the you city don't then. Have to come with me, you know. Okay, okay, I know. Let's go. Ah, Sonny, there's a little problem. Oh. Not so little. And it smells, too. What the furry hell is Blood Boy doing here? Ah, well, it seems we can't avoid speaking to him. Oh, yes, we can. You have your rifle with you, right? No, he left, brother. What? <laughs> Just kidding. Sort of. Well. Oh, boy. It doesn't look that nice, but... The chief doesn't seem to be in a good mood. But he never is, actually. Well, let's what talk to him. What a surprise. The two pigeons back together. Pigeons. And without my Please. permission, of course. Chief Bloodboil. Damn. What was that sentence? Damn. Nothing, sir. What a lovely evening. Am I right? I don't want to hear your crowing, Santino. What the hell are you doing here? Hey, 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 careful with the racist barking, old hound. Mm hmm Oh, oh, it's getting hot in here. Can we just skip this part? It's New Year's after all. And you're on duty, if I'm not mistaken, Martin. Where do you think you're going? That's it, boss. To serve and protect. Sonny was in the neighborhood and stopped by to say hi. He's a cop too, right? Only on paper, and you know that very well, detective. I don't want any trouble, boss. I just wanted to say hi to Monica, and then this feather pillow showed up. I invited him to grab a quick coffee. You can allow him that much, can't you? Your coffee breaks usually end up in shooting or brawling, chickens. Oh, just a coffee. It is how it is. I swear. Oh, have a heart. It's New Year's Eve, and I haven't seen my old partner for so long. I'll touch him. You shot him with a shotgun. Oh, he shot me with Bertha. <laughs> Family quarrel. Oh, that's nothing but a scratch. For all the marrow bones of the world, get the hell out of my sight. Have a lovely I mean, get out, boss. just like leave. So we're going. You especially fuck off right now, Santino. Okay, language here. 
I think we... Okay. Places... Oh, we didn't read that. We, we did. The hop dog. The place is famous for its exceptional coffee and exceptionally frequent whims that take place around it. Well, it's not an assurance of life operating any joint outside of Roach Town. Okay. So we got Blob Boil here. The chief is a real legend. He also hates me. Oh, we got that. He's my boss and the living statue of justice. He's tough, ruthless, and above all, unbribable. Unbribable. And of course, he's a racist bastard, Basil. <laughs> I don't want to be here when he retires to witness how chaos devours Clover for good. Okay. What else we got here? Ah, Zip. I think he's. An old enemy who become a, uh, became a good friend over the years. Okay. So. I can't avoid speaking with the chief first. Oh. And it would be nice to say goodbye to Harmonic. Okay, so. Uh, maybe next time. I'm not in the mood to meet any of my ex colleagues. Oh, maybe right that's now. like the standard phrase he says. So we talk to Monica. We're leaving, sweetheart. Sweetheart. Stay safe, boys. I'm glad to see you two together again. I'm That's afraid cute. you're alone with that. <laughs> hey, don't make me change my mind. You mm -hmm. won't, Marty. I bet you can't wait to get mixed up in some serious trouble again. Yep, that's true. I'm serious, boys. Be careful out there. Oh, yeah, he We're likes... big birds, Monica. He likes the trouble, take care of Marty. ourselves, mostly. <laughs> okay, but take care of each other, too. Oh, he's so, she's so sweet. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so, ah, yes, we can go now. The Zar Club, the tail of this hot dog. Hop dog. Let's go there. It's a the hop dog limited like the last warning. scene to you can still visit. Turn back. My eyes lingered on the sign. An enormous dog. Like a neon god with limitless power over cheap hot dogs plastic hamburgers, and watered-down coffee. The cold light called me, but I didn't want to get out of the car. If we went in, we were all going to be pancakes, kept together by cold syrup. Marty's worried look shook me out of my reverie. Oh, oh. cluck. Oh, cluck. Was I talking to myself again? Oh, boy. Okay. So, like, the other people, they had, like, animal heads, but this guy, Look at the poor he's bastard. a full-on fly. He's looking like, okay, Marty. Remember what we saw when yes, we yes, close, but... Wild ones. Don't even remind me. I'm trying to forget that shit every day. It's been even worse since. And I guess you heard about the riots. And, and, and riots? You know, okay. people are afraid that the great fire will happen again, and those hive houses are pretty flammable. Mm -hmm. I don't speak of the devil, Marty. But to be honest, I, I have no idea how this insect matter can be solved. Okay. Mm so just there. open the ghettos and let the insects live among us like they did for centuries. So they locked away the, the insects and... Your heart uh, is pure gold, buddy. Okay. But you know, it's not that easy. Clawville isn't what it used to be. Oh boy. Okay, I think we... We should do a break here. Before we go into the hot dog. And... Yeah. I think that was pretty fun. Like, with a little mini game, I totally sucked at. But, yeah. Maybe we get to shoot some real... Uh, uh, gangsters here and not so many hostages yes that would be great okay so let me just finish this up finish this up here real quick and I think we call it cuts here see you next time <laughs>